Hi, and welcome to The Hive Collaborative. The Hive is a boutique production house in Provo, Utah that specializes in helping people create, express, and produce. You're gonna wanna like and subscribe because you're gonna wanna see our 10 minute films, stand up comedy, how to videos, and so much more. Thanks and enjoy. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? This must be the place. So where is everybody? A little bit weird just walking in here, but maybe we're supposed to. Nah. They'll show up. What is with the decorations here? It looks like a funeral. Is this where the party is? The birthday party? Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I think we're the only people here, though. <laughs> it's festive so far. Well, I, I got a message to come to this address that there's going to be a big birthday party. I brought a present, but it didn't say who the party was for. Yeah, me too. I was intrigued, so here I am. Norman. Who? Norman. That's what the party's for. Happy birthday, Norman. Who's Norman? I... I don't know. Do you know a Norman? I, I, I've never met a Norman in my life. I can remember. What about you? Never heard of him, but... Peanuts are pretty good. Alright. This is a little too weird. <laughs> and why are all the decorations Black, anyways. That's what I was thinking, like, I've never seen black decorations like this except at a funeral. 50th. Excuse me? Maybe it's the guy's 50th birthday. You know, over the hill, closer to God, that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe. That's kind of morbid, though. Usually you'd see, like, 50th or 60th or whatever. I don't see anything else other than this sign. Yeah. There's plenty of presents, though. You know, this is our horror movie start. Several people are summoned to a home. They don't know why. The place is empty. There are other people there that they don't know. Pretty soon, somebody come along. Come along and what? I don't know. Kill us all or something. I wonder if we can break open that champagne. Yeah, I don't think any of that's gonna happen. This was probably just a miscommunication. Well, I don't like it. I'm, I'm giving them five more minutes and then I'm bailing. Well, we're not good enough company for you? <laughs> Dude, we don't even know who you are. Actually, I don't even know who you are. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. I'm Tom. Hi. I'm Ronald. Hi. So hey, I say we enjoy ourselves while we wait. There's no sense in wasting all this food. We didn't touch the bubbly though. It's flat. There aren't any cars out there. There's none in the streets either. Smell something? Yeah, kind of like something burning. Look, 
That's what you're smelling. Where did that come from? Mm, a bit frosty. Come on, man, that's not our cake. You shouldn't be touching that. It's a birthday party. Now it says happy birthday. No, man. When was the last time you ate? Mm, it tastes like mint. Well, it's kind of. Somebody must have lit those candles, right? Because otherwise, why would they still be burning if there wasn't somebody here, like, right before- Shut up! There's something really wrong here. I think we need to leave. You know, I think maybe if we just talk about this, we can figure out what's going on. I think we should just look for ice cream for those cookies. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. It's locked. From the inside? Yeah, right. It must just be stuck. See? Well, that doesn't make any sense! We'll try the window. Let's break it. We've got to get out of here. Well, calm down. We just need to be able to talk about this rationally. I'm calm. You're the one getting upset. You two should try some cookies. Shut up, old man! I don't see you helping! I am helping by staying out of your way. And it's a party, so I'm enjoying myself. And who are you calling old man anyway? Look, there's a door right here. Oh. What just happened? I don't know. The lights just went out for a second. Maybe there's a storm coming. It just happened after I blew one of these candles. Which one? This one that used to be yellow. God. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I wonder. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> After work today, I went to the bar with my friends. We wanted to catch the game. It's hard being on your own, you know. You think your boyfriend's gonna be there forever until one day he isn't. We had a few beers. Maybe I had one too many. Just like that. Five years. Our team won. My friends were celebrating and I decided, you know, it's time to go home. The job you're working at lays you off. You've been a good employee for almost 15 years. When I left to go to my car, it had already started to rain. Apparently that doesn't matter. I must have driven that route home a hundred times. You see your mom and dad pass right before your eyes. You know, but never when it was so hard to see. The drugs don't help anymore. It was dark and the storm was getting worse and the next thing I knew, until one day, you can hardly get out of bed. You have a supply of pills in a baggie behind your cabinet with your name on them. I was running into the side of this minivan, you know, I was just, it was just right through my windshield. And... You take them all at once. You climb into the tub because it's, it's warm. And it'll be warm, at least for a little while. And I was knocking on this door. And when I w woke up, I was on the sidewalk behind two men I've never seen before. Did I want somebody to answer? Did that I deserve to go to a party, you know? Or to be anywhere? Is this the end? Or the beginning? <laughs> Nothing happened to me that I know of. I, I got up, I went to the library. Um, same routine as usual under the bypass, and I remember having to protect my basket because, you know, the guy's been eyeing at it, but other than that, life's been pretty normal. The last thing I remember was finding this grocery bag that fell off from a car. 
I went to pick it up and I was here in this front porch with a balloon. I'm fine. I'm fine. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.